Well, everybody, it is that time of year again. Time to end chapters and start new ones. <laughs> Greetings, warriors, and welcome to The War Room with Jael, and this is your host, Jael. For some of us, this year has been a year, and for some of us, this year has been a year. And as we come to the close of another calendar year, it seems only fitting that we talk about closure. The holidays can be a joyous time, but difficult for many who reflect on a year that may not have gone exactly the way they would have wanted. And more times than I expected, people ask me about closure and how to get it from someone who just simply won't give it. And my answer is always, your closure is not in the control of someone else. Perhaps, yes, they may be able to give you some insight as to what their thought process is or was, but really that's about it. And even if you do understand their motivations, it still may not give you exactly what you desire. Because many times when people are talking about getting closure, seeking closure from someone else, they're looking for something very, very specific. A specific answer, a specific attitude, a specific cathartic moment but nobody is in control of closure except you. No one owes you closure. They will only give you what they are willing to give. You cannot control what anyone does or says, so do not wait for them to unlock the key to your release. If they do give you that cathartic moment, answer, or attitude, great, but do not put your life on pause waiting for it to happen. Let's think about it like this analogy. It's like you and the other person are standing on either side of a slightly ajar door in a house. But the other person starts to turn, walk away down the hall, down the stairs, out the front door, and they keep going. Yet you are still standing on your side of the door, waiting for them to either come close with you or for you that door, that connection that you share. But they've already left the chat. They're somewhere in the street. They're not thinking about you. But the great thing is, doors have two knobs, one on either side. So if they're not there to come close the door for you or with you, then you reach out your hand and you close that door yourself. You mourn the death of the friendship, the relationship, the connection, the ties that you share, light a candle, and move the heck on. Because putting your life on pause and putting your happiness on pause for someone who is either unwilling or unable to give you what you need is an exercise in futility. It's not serving you. So I encourage you to never let someone else steal your joy or control your happiness because it was never theirs to have in the first place. I mean, they're probably walking around not realizing that they are dragging your big bag of happiness behind them because they've already moved on with their lives. They're always already living their best lives or a life. So I encourage you today to focus on reclaiming, restoring, revitalizing, renewing your happiness, your joy, your energy, your life. Don't wait until January 1st. Don't wait until tomorrow. Start today. Well, warriors, we have come to the end of another video. And I wish to thank each and every one of you for making this such a fantastic, successful year for me. I am grateful. I wish for you to be free with laughter and pensive with love this holiday season and every day. No challenge for this week. But always remember to be fearless, be faithful, be visionary, and be victorious. Hey Warriors, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you never miss an upload. Also, follow me on Twitter at War Room Coaching or on Instagram at KMW Catalyst for even more business and life motivation. Have a visionary day.